Chairman, Commissioners, my name is Liza Keane. You have asked me to appear before you in connection with the case of Dimitris Defendis, the parliamentary messenger who assassinated the Prime Minister of South Africa in 1966. Mr. Defendis is still alive, but his doctors at Stokefontein Hospital have judged him not well enough to attend these proceedings. I've spent many hours with Mr. Defendis and feel that there are aspects of his story that should be brought to the attention of the Commission. Can we start this interview with you telling us about... Speak slowly. About Mozambique. Where was I born? Tell us yeah. where you were born. Yeah. I was born in Lorenzo Marques, the capital of the province of Mozambique. On the 14th of January, 1918, because... Dr. Henry Firwood was an immoral man. I decided to stab him, and I killed him. Hierdie was um, Dr. Firwood's persoonlijke wapen that he was gehaald for that was a photo of Dr. Firwood. Tell me what you think of, or thought of Dr. Verwood. What did you say? What did you think of Dr. Verwood? Dr. Verwood, the man who created the party, Dr. Verwood. And then here is the four weapons of David Pratt. What is also weird about Dr. Verwood? Can I say something? You see, uh, what Dr. Verwood did was wrong. In the first place, there shouldn't never have been a party in the first place. Otherwise, South Africa should have just continued, maybe a better country. But now, through a party, that big gap, 40 years, made a, you know, it, it, uh, it, mess, it messes South Africa up. It, it, it just dropped the whole, you know, the, the, like Kimberley, the Kimberley mine. It, there's a hole, a big hole. In South Africa. And then here it was the the dog, where me so fine as Doctor Verwoerd vermoord it. Then can I see this no steeds van die bloedspatsels op die me op die dog. I don't want to talk about the, that man, you see, because I don't like him. Even he, him, he, he don't like us. You see, he killed the people. He called us about kafir. You see, we are kafirs, us, to that man. So there's nothing I can say about that guy. That's all. The whole population of South Africa has been shocked to the depth of its soul by the tragedy that unfolded itself in the House of Assembly this afternoon. It is my sad duty to express on behalf of all the tremendous sense of loss which overwhelms us all on this tragic day. A cedar of the Lebanon has fallen. The man who was master hand safely steered our ship of state for the past eight years is no more. Strangely enough, nobody spoke about him at all for years. I mean, until the, uh, it was all resuscitated by the, the appearance of the Conservative Party, who then used to talk with, in glowing terms about Favod and how South Africa would have been, you know, so much better a place if Favod had been still the Prime Minister. The rest of us, I think, were only too glad to forget he ever existed. You were in the House Assembly the day Henry Kruvert was stabbed. Yes, yes. Uh, I remember it in some detail because uh, uh, when it happened, I think I went into a kind of state of shock and I went on to automatic pilot. And I wrote down, I looked at the clock on the other end of the chamber and I wrote down 2.10, you know, 2.11 and exactly what was happening. Uh, when, <laughs> when I came to, I had a, a note, a page of a notebook full of, of a, 
blow-by-blow blow account. My first uh, memory is of uh, the, this burly messenger bustling up uh, the, the, the floor of the house from the entrance, the lobby entrance. And, you know, I thought it was odd because uh, they normally walk around in a very decorous way and almost invisible messengers during the proceedings of the house. This is the baie griller of the house. But, um, there is this. You can see there is also from the blood cooler on the baie. Suddenly this messenger loomed above uh, Dr. Favut and whipped out a knife and began stabbing him. I just saw the knife flailing away, you know. I don't know how many times it was, but it was more than once. And uh, the, the reaction of people in the house was, was terribly interesting to watch. I, as I say, was on kind of automatic pilot in the state of shock, as if I was watching a cowboy movie. Yes, with the brood, so you can see, he was a little bit greater than a person. Dus die bloedspatsels, wat nog steeds aan die broek is. I noticed a PWD 